Hello, good morning and good afternoon and even good evening. This is Mr. Adhikari. He has come with new topic today. Today's topic is historical perspectives on business communication. It is about the language system. So I'm going to talk about how historically business started, how the language communicate and communication developed historically how the language of business got established from the past and how it was recorded and how it is at present historical perspectives on business communication business communication relates to trades managing a business and people who work in an organization it is about the language which is used to deal with the customers, to deal with the trades, to deal with the people, to deal with the work of the organization. What type of language is used in the organization, right? Business communication refers to the process of transferring ideas, transferring ideas and information from one person from person to another right from one person to another from one organization unit to another or <coughs> another or within or outside the organization it means within the organization outside the organization from one person to another person from one organization to another organization, from one organizational unit to another organizational unit is called that is a communication is take and the communication taken place that takes place and that is the process transferring of ideas, transformation of information, transformation of beliefs and thirds about the business is called business communication. The main objective is to promote organized organizational goals by increasing work efficiency and productivity as well as, as well as enhancing a company's image and maintaining goodwill the main function of the communicate business communication is to promote is to uplift the organizational goals and how organizational goals can be uplifted it is through increasing work efficiency in the organization increasing productivity of the organization and enhancing company's image uh, and as well as even maintaining goodwill of the company this is how the image can be uh, promotional promotion of the organization can be carried out the history of business communication is equal to the history of business and commerce when we talk about the history of business communication it is the history of business history of commerce so business communication is related with the history of the business when business started when commerce commerce started so the language was used when business started when the commerce was started and the language that was used for the business and the commerce in the past is called with the it's called the business communication language right so it goes to the past it goes to the beginning of the civilization of the history of business <coughs> sorry and the commerce all right let's see ancient period of business communication how the business communication took place in ancient time how the people communicated to do the business in the ancient time that is called an historical perspective right the history of business communication can be traced back to early history when humans started commercial activities like the agriculture and trade. People started agriculture from cave, from the age of the cave, from the just uh, life of the forest, hunting and killing animals and, and just living in the forest to people came to farming, agriculture and then trade. When they started agriculture and trading and the communication also started from that time. It starts, it goes back to the ancient time when the 
activities of agriculture and trade started. The ancient form of communication uh, were mainly records of trades and transactions. They did not communicate. They did not speak because it was very narrow. They put the record of transactions, record of business, wherever they wanted. So records of trades and records of transactions were the early ancient forms of communication. Egyptians kept records of business transactions, right? Egyptians, people of Egypt, they kept the records of business transactions. And that business transaction, whatever they kept in the form of record, became the business communication language, right? The transaction record became the business communication language of the ancient time. Romans used special business language to trade and negotiate as they expanded their empire over the world. Because Roman empire was great in the past, before British empire. Roman ruled the world and at that time when empire was expanded by the Roman and then at that time Roman also used special business language, special business uh, uh, okay, communication, special trade language, special negotiating language of negotiation, right? According to Cloud A. George, in the medieval period, with the rise of banking in Italy, a more advanced system of business communication began as Venice became the center of commercial activities. In the medieval period, Venice became the center of communication, became the center of commercial activities. When Venice became the center of commercial activities, and at that time, the banking system started in Rome, in Italy. So, the banking system that established for the commerce, for the trade, for the uh, communication of language, for the exchange of goods in R Italy, in a medieval period, that has come even at present, right? So, that business uh, banking system, that uh, transaction system through the business, became a commercial activities. That became the language of business in medieval period, right? Cotillia, scholar of, Berlin, of, of India, right, economist, has considered gold as the primary means of wealth. Cotillia says that gold is the primary means of wealth. So even today, gold is regarded as the primary means of wealth. For him, trade was culmination of industrial capital. For Cotillia, trade was the culmination, reaching, culmination is reaching to the highest point of capital becoming rich, right? Nepal had flourishing business activities and trade relations with Tibet in Litsabi period. In Litsabi period is one period when Litsabi ruled in Nepal. And at that time Litsabi started to relations with Tibet and trade relations with Tibet. And that business activities and trade relations establishing with Tibet became the business communication language in Litsabi period. Records of business transactions can be found in the historical documents. If we see the historical documents and we can find the records of transactions, records of business, records of trade, records of exchange of money that has been kept for the purchasing of goods. And that is the communication system, business communication system. And if we have to see, we need to see the legal documents legal documents, course of business transactions, and tax codes of early historical periods can be taken as the early forms of business communication. See, the early forms of business communications are legal documents, course of business transactions, and tax codes of early historical periods. They are the earliest forms of business communication, earliest forms of language of business communication. Legal documents are the business language. Course of business transactions are the language of the communication, communicative language of the business. Tax codes are the historical language of business communication. Now, business communication during industrial revolution and after. During industrial revolution and after. How business communication took place. Radical innovations and development in business communication took place during and after industrial revolution in Europe. Industrial revolution took place in Europe. 
when industrial revolution took place there and at that time there was a radical form of innovation a radical form of development and business communication and with the industry there was the production with the revolution of industry industrial revolution there was a production system with the production system and trade increased and with the trade people or the traders had the communication system with the mass production and division of labor the business communication system developed effectively right with the mass of production with the division of labor the business communication system developed effectively with the mass production with the division of labor large goods of production started there and more productions needed more business and more business needed better easier system of communication of language and that developed with the production of mass with the division of labor with the large scale of production of goods and business communication system also developed and that had to be developed it kept effectively communication forms got enhanced from top to bottom first communication started from the top and the bottom to the lower level that came the language of communication started from the top not from the bottom the primary modes of communication were written and oral they used to write and then communicate and then demand the goods and sell the goods so that was primary forms modes of communication were written forms of communication oral forms of communication more systematic written form of communication began in nepal since the introduction of democracy in 2007 bs when the introduction of democracy started in 2007 bs right and then better communication system started in systematic communication system of business started in nepal it is in the context of nepal so business communication has been based on the transaction system system the transaction system itself became the language of business became the language of communication for the traders right now business communication of modern period how the business communication is there in modern period now it is the advanced period the management system systems became more people oriented than task oriented during the early 19 and 20 century now management system is more people oriented not tax oriented right in the 19 and 20 century tax oriented came rather than people oriented came rather than tax oriented system management recognition of power of communication and persuading the in persuading the influencing lead to persuading and influencing lead to the behavioral and empowerment models of communication that means now the communication has become more powerful communication has been understood recognized as more powerful system of persuading people influencing people influencing the behavior and the empowerment empowering of models of communication so it is a language that influences people it is a communication that influences the business the better communication the better business the worse communication the worse business so the power of communication for in persuading the customers organization behaviors of the people is quite important in modern time organization expected the empowering employees and communication become the primary skill for convincing the customers it is the communication that convinces the customers so employees are to be quite good communicators and communication is the primary first skill of convincing customers and organizations always seek that type of employees who can persuade the people who can speak better who can communicate well who has good communication skill organization become democratic now organizations have become became as just like have become democratic it is not autocratic the business communication system was weak during the time of ranas in the past because they did not have the business they did not have extension of the relationship with others except in tibet 
So it had to be developed with the business world simultaneously. Simultaneously, the language system had to be developed with the business world. This is how the language system, this is how the business communication system developed, right? And this is the process of developing the historical perspective of the language uh, of business. In other words, the transactions, the bills, the records, the banks, they were in the ancient time, the language of communication. Jalli likhu, jasli pramadaru rakhu, poishad diyu, pathayu, record rakhu, tiyuni bhasa bhanu paila. Aile aara, ju sabbanda badi bol cha, sabbanda ramro communication skill cha, jalli ramro bolli kun cha, jalli aru lai convince karna sa cha, ava communication ko mohatta bhojna thaliyo. Communication को मौत तो बुझने थाले बसे अब employee जरूर जागे रे राख डाके रे बने जस को skill राम रोज communication में जल्ले और लाइक convince करने सकता जल्ले और लाइक influence करने सकता तीस था मतलब communication employee जरूर employee करने थाले communication language बोलने जून तरीका सा तीस ऐ को main उद्देश्य नहीं क्या होता है ना organisation संस्था लाइक company लाइक माध्यम उठाने हो this is how the communication system has got quite significant place in the modern age. This is all for today. You can listen this, read this slide and prepare for your exam. Thank you.